Photoshop CS6. Um, first of all, what is the clone stamp tool? When we hear about someone talk about, I'm going to Photoshop someone in or out of a picture, we are using the clone stamp tool. Um, this tool is also used to change the appearance of people. It can make you skinnier, make you bigger, that kind of stuff. Now um, we're going to show a simple way to Photoshop something out of the picture. So I took this picture of the ocean and there are some pelicans in it. Um, as a surfer, these pelicans are really annoying to me because they always almost run into my head, which is nothing to do with this video, but just a little story I like to tell. Um, anyway, let's see, I need to get rid of these pelicans that are on the picture. Um, how can I do that? Very easy. I can get rid of them and make them look like they've never been here. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this clone stamp tool, and if I zoom in, I can show you exactly what it looks like. Um, clone stamp tool. What if I push there? It's also a pattern stamp tool, but we're not going to talk about with that. We're just going to use the clone stamp tool. Next thing I do is I usually choose a brush size. Um, my brush size is about as big as my object. If I were going to do this perfect, I'd probably choose a very small brush, zoom in, and do this absolutely perfectly, but we don't care too much about that today. I'm just going to show you the main features of the tool. I can change the mode and the opacity, and basically the main thing I really want to focus on, though, is the brush size. All right, oh, and I need to obviously duplicate my layer or copy and paste my layer because I never want to work on the background layer as I explain in all my videos. So to use the clone stamp tool, what I need to do is I'm going to push the Alt Option key. And notice when I push it, and I'll zoom in for this. Notice when I push it, I see a little bullseye marker. Um, this is what, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste from one part of the screen to the next. So I push Alt Option and I click the mouse. Now that I've clicked the mouse, notice when I carry this around, it's showing what I've copied and pasted, or what I've copied. So now I'm going to paste this down, and I'm going to paste it right over the bird. And if you see closely on the left-hand side of the screen, you can see a little cross. That's what I'm copying from. And look, my bird is gone. I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to hold Alt-Option next to the bird, go over to the bird, well, I need to do it a little further out. Alt-Option, click mouse, get rid of the bird. Do the same thing over here. Alt-Option, get rid of the bird. And I'll do that to all of these. Now, obviously, I'm doing this with a big brush, so it's not exactly perfect. Um, however, if I were doing it with a small brush, I could make it very, very perfect so that you would not be able to tell that I was, had messed with the image. Now let's zoom out of this and see what our image looks like. Look at that. It now looks like there's only one bird in the picture, and just as easily, I can get rid of that one. Now we have no birds in our picture, and that's how you get rid of birds. Let me show you how one would... Um, make someone smaller or bigger. And you know who I'm going to do that with? I'm going to do that with my son because he really doesn't care if he's skinny or fat right now at this point in his life. He's just happy to be a baby. Um, so let me quickly show you how to do that. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to select a brush and I'm going to change my brush size significantly. We'll use a big size like that for now. Um, and the first thing that you're going to notice is if you look at what's copy and pasted up on the screen, it's actually from that other picture because you can clone stamp from one picture to another. Let me duplicate my layer here. All right, and how would I make my son bigger or smaller? So let's say I wanted to take some body fat off of him, make him look just a little bit skinnier than he is. I'm going to hold Alt Option down, and I'm going to do it on his leg. I'll just do it to one part of his leg. Hold Alt Option on his leg. All I do is I take this in a little bit. You can see if I zoom in here that I'm copying and pasting. Look how, um, what I'm doing here. I'm actually taking this in about an inch. And that's a lot to take in. And this isn't going to be perfect. But you can see if I show you these two pictures now, you can see the difference. And it's not a perfect copy and paste because I use clone stamp because I use such a big brush. I didn't try to make it absolutely perfect. But you can see how easily I just made his leg, took an inch off of his leg. And I can do the same thing if I want to make his leg bigger. I'll make his leg bigger on the other side.
And you can see I've made his leg bigger. Bigger on one and smaller on the other. How quickly I've made someone bigger or smaller. Um, just to take a little bit off of, you know, you see a model in a cover of a magazine, it was very easy for them just to Photoshop her that much, just the slightest to take something off of her stomach or her thighs for the picture. Um, you know, our society might not like that, but this is how easy it really is to do that. You know, you take a picture of the guy without a shirt on, it was that easy just to make his arms a little bit bigger so he looks just a little bit more muscular than he really is. And that's how you use the clone stamp tool. Thanks.